working today. <laughs> Everyone's working from home. Go away. <laughs> Just kidding. Are, you, are we doing this here? Is this happening? This is happening. All right, come on in. Here's the deal. No one can work from our office anymore, so we're cooking from here. Welcome to my home. I'm Faraday, cooking show. Here we are. Today, we're gonna make chicken and waffles. Everybody's probably missing going out to brunch and waiting in those long lines on the weekend like you guys all love doing. So instead, you can make brunch at your own apartment. All you really need is some chicken and buttermilk and the rest of the stuff you definitely have in your pantry. Let's start out with moving our bowls around everywhere. We're going to debone our chicken. So the thing about fried chicken for me is that it always cooks a lot nicer, boneless. So I wanna keep the skin on, so it's really easy. Use the tip of your knife blade and just go right up against, work the bone out. Just pulling, pulling the meat off a little bit. I'm gonna take my knife blade, I'm gonna go under and just remove the meat. And you can basically just pull it like this. Bone out. Save this, because guess what, guys? You can make chicken stock. I know everybody's like at home, they're like, I need stock, I need to do soup, blah, blah, blah. Save these bones, you just boil this with some water and you have homemade chicken stock, okay? Now I've got a chicken thigh here. I could trim off some of this fat and some of this skin, but guess what? It's gonna be really delicious and crispy when it comes out, so I'm gonna leave it on. Put that into the bowl. If you look here, there's like a line, that's where the bone is. Peel that away. Follow that right to there. Just gonna pull it a little bit. Expose the old bone. That's what he said. <laughs> Ian. How dare I? How dare you use my joke? <laughs> Little big bone. That's what she said. Cut that off. Deboned on my thighs. I wanted that to sound dirtier than it did, but. Anyways, I'm gonna brine these in buttermilk. So some people do like a pickle brine with their fried chicken. You could do any kind of brine, really. It's just adding flavor, it's making it more tender, it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna use buttermilk because I'm also using buttermilk in the waffles. And I always hate when recipes have you use buttermilk, like a quarter cup or half a cup of something, and then you have a whole pint of buttermilk. What else do you do with the rest of it? You brine your chicken in it. Just enough to cover it up. I'm gonna refrigerate this. This is gonna brine for at least four hours, preferably overnight. We're just gonna have a cup of coffee, chill out, go watch some TV. What do you think, Ian? Sound good? Yeah, let's watch The Office. We're gonna watch The Office. Our chicken has been brining for about four hours or so. I'm gonna make a really nice syrup to go along with this, okay? I am 100% behind fried chicken. I love fried chicken so much. I think it's great. It's good for picnics, it's good for whatever. The sweet and the savory, like chicken and waffles. I don't really get it. People out there, you guys like it. Someone actually asked me to make this recipe, which is the reason why I'm doing it right now. So I figure if we're gonna do chicken and waffles, we're gonna make it a little boozy too. So this is gonna be about three quarters of a cup of maple syrup. And then I'm gonna add a quarter cup bourbon. Ooh, just enough. Gotta open up my other bottle now, because don't worry. If there's one thing I know about quarantining yourself, make sure you're surrounded with booze. If you're almost at the end of your booze like I was here, make sure you got extra. And I do have extra, okay? So a quarter cup right into there. About a quarter cup of honey right on in too. And then we're gonna just emulsify some butter in after this warms up. And this is a good waffle recipe. It's a good fried chicken recipe. It's a good syrup recipe. You could drizzle this over just pancakes for breakfast. And this will cook for like three minutes maybe. We're gonna add our butter in. A little at a time, let it emulsify. And again, I don't need to like burn out the bourbon. It will taste nice and boozy though. And the cool thing about chicken and waffles, I think, is that you don't really necessarily have to have it for breakfast, huh? Yeah, for lunch, for dinner. It's great. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. You're in quarantine right now. <laughs> time, to, time is irrelevant. So we're having fun. We're in our robe. <laughs> so fancy. All right, that is good to go. Ooh, sizzling. Ooh, that's so good. That bourbon is what's gonna make this whole dish the best. We're basically just gonna put our chicken into the dredge and then fry it. My batter for your chicken is salt, paprika, all-purpose flour, cornstarch. So it all goes in to a bowl. Gonna give it a little mix. You probably have all these ingredients in your cupboard. If you wanna add some more spices, different things in here, I'm using paprika. I just like the paprika because it has a nice flavor, but then it also adds a little bit of color. Use whatever you have. Make use of what's in your pantry, okay? Let me also check my temperature. I want my oil to be about 350, so let me just make sure. I'm waiting for my oil to come to temp. I'm gonna keep this aside. I'm gonna make my waffle batter while 
this all happens. I need about four tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna melt it. More buttermilk, so about three quarters of a cup. Quarter cup of milk. Like a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I like adding vinegar also to like my crusts for pie and stuff like that. It kind of helps make it crispier because that's what you want. Then the day you want crispy waffles and you want crispy fried chicken. Teaspoon of vanilla. In this bowl, I've got baking soda, salt, and flour. I'm gonna add my sugar on in into this bowl. I'm gonna put an egg white. I'm gonna whip this egg white. The yolk goes right into the wet ingredients. You saw me plop that in there. Shell goes wherever I want. Put it in my apartment, I'll do what I want. We're gonna whip egg whites into this. That's gonna help make the waffles fluffier. The apple cider vinegar is gonna make them crispier. It's gonna be delicious. You know how to tell if it's done, right? It's peaks, but then you also, if you put it over your head, it doesn't fall. Ready? I'm always so scared when I do this. Okay. That's it. <laughs> once it cools down a little bit. I'm gonna add the melted butter into this, and then I'm gonna add my dry ingredients into here. I don't know why they do this, but it like ski slopes and stuff. I don't, do, you, do you ski or snowboard? I've never been skiing. You've never? Oh my gosh, this is a kid from Ohio, don't forget. I love snowboarding, and every time you go snowboarding though, and no matter where you are, they always sell waffles at like the lift lines at the base of the mountains. I don't know why, but they do smell so good. I don't even like waffles out that much. But every time I'm like, maybe we should get some waffles. It's so bizarre to me. I'm gonna fold the egg white into this guy. It's gonna be nice and fluffy. Gonna make it a little bit more airy. And the folding technique is just so we don't completely collapse. We don't want to get like rid of all that air that we just built into the egg white. This is ready. We're gonna fry some chicken, we're gonna cook some waffles. Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Are we doing this? Yes. <laughs> Do you want me to say it? Or okay. gonna About a half a cup in each. Close it on up. It's gonna tell me when it's ready. No need to worry about that. Let's do our fried chicken, okay? Okay, roll up the old bathrobe sleeves. We're gonna go right on in to the chicken, to the dredge. This is gonna be good, crispy, cook nice and evenly. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Looks really good. Fried, fried, chicky, 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 fried, fried. Chicky, chicky, fried, fried. Fried, fried, chicky, chicky. These are looking like they're done too. Okay. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. It's crispy. It smells like snowboarding. The fried chicken. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Let me get drinks for us. You're gonna have one too. Ian, this is for you, my friend. Cheers. Sicily. Sicily. So crispy. Ooh. Yes. Oh man, it's like juicy. It's crunchy as fuck. That bourbon, I can smell it. Everything about this is good. The waffles are delicious. The fried chicken is like so crispy and just good and easy. And this sauce just ties it all together. I don't even need to eat it to know it's perfect. I'm going to. Mm hmm Shit, that's good. You know, you're stuck at home. You're a waste of space. No one in your apartment or your family thinks you're good for anything. But guess what? You're good for something. You're good for this, okay? This is what you are good for. Make it. For the recipe, click the link below, show them.